For our second recipe from Bosnia and Herzegovina, we're making poached apples with a walnut brown sugar filling, and they're called tufaje. They are great. So to make this recipe, first we're gonna start with four green apples, Granny Smith apples. I've peeled them and I'm gonna take the core out of the middle of them. And then we're gonna put them in this pot on the stove here. I have four cups of water boiling. And I'm gonna add to it two and a half cups of sugar. And this is gonna make a kind of syrup that we're gonna poach the apples in. So I'm gonna mix this in until it dissolves, as well as two tablespoons of lemon juice, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, and the peel of one of the apples. So I'm gonna put all of those in here, give it a nice stir, and I'm gonna take my peeled and cored apples and put them in here. The apples are obviously gonna float in the water, so you're gonna to wanna to cook them for about five minutes um, with one side, with the, the cut side sticking up. And then once they've cooked for about five minutes that way, then you're going to flip them over and cook the other side too. So that, that way both sides, because they float, both sides can get cooked. Um, like I said, it's gonna take about five minutes for each side. Then the other part of this recipe is the filling that goes in the middle. So we're gonna head over to this burner over here on the stove and make the filling for the middle. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start with one half cup of walnuts chopped very finely. I use my nut chopper and I'm gonna put those, oh, <laughs> make a big mess over here. Um, put those in the pot as well as one quarter cup of brown sugar two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one quarter cup of Greek yogurt. I picked honey flavored Greek yogurt for a little bit of honey flavor. If you want, you can use plain vanilla. Greek yogurt um, and put a little drizzle of honey in here as well, but I just like the way that the honey Greek yogurt tastes. All right, this is sizzling a little bit, so I'm gonna turn it down and I'm just gonna mix all of these together. Eventually the brown sugar is gonna melt together with the butter and the um, yogurt. And we're gonna let it cook for, one. it's gonna bubble a little bit and once it starts to bubble, we're gonna cook it for another four or five minutes just until it thickens up. So I'm gonna let it start to bubble. And then like I said, I'm gonna cook it for another four minutes after that. Bosnia has the 10th highest coffee consumption per capita in the world. When your apples are done poaching, you can put them in the um, fridge for maybe about 30 minutes or so. You can eat them warm if you want, but a lot of times I think that it tastes a lot better when the apples are chilled. So I put my apples in the fridge for about 30 minutes and I have my warm walnut brown sugar mixture here. And I'm just gonna spoon this into the um, cavities in the apple. Okay. Sometimes um, when they make this in Bosnia and Herzegovina, it, it's a little bit more watery um, with less brown sugar and more white sugar. Um, I, I thought that I would like it a little bit better with the, um, with the brown sugar in it. So I changed it up a little bit, but also sometimes it's made with just white sugar as well. I'll spoon it into both of them. Here we go. And you're just gonna wanna fill it all up, get all of that ooey gooey goodness in the middle of the apple. This is the best part. It's kind of like deconstructed apple pie without the crust a little bit. Um, and if you like apple pie, then this is the dessert for you. Okay. You can also, if you'd like, um, put whipped cream on top. I'm personally, I know, blasphemy, I'm not a whipped cream fan, but if you like whipped cream, you can also put some whipped cream on top as well. Okay. Cut it up and it's gonna ooze out the middle. Look at that, it looks so good. I'll cut a piece off and try it and I'll let you guys know what I think. Mm. That filling is so good. 
It definitely, like I said, tastes kind of like deconstructed apple pie, which I love. So it's definitely an easy, good, delicious recipe to make. The recipe for it again is gonna be over on my blog, foreignfork.com. And don't forget to stop by next week because we're gonna start a whole nother country and cook some meals from some other countries around the world. I'll see you soon. So if you all are really liking these videos and you wanna see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.